Hello, I'm Christian Voss. I'm professor for South Slavic studies at Humboldt University since 2006. Yes, I think that there is a kind of asynchronicity in um, dealing with area studies. So in the West, we are in a post-nationalist, post-monolingual um, um, period, European um, coherence, whereas the Balkans still um, are, in a, in a, in a, especially in the former Yugoslav countries, um, who need national affirmation and still um, are dealing mostly with their with the own national identity in the national past. This is a problem um, to get into dialogue and um, maybe even um, conflictuous. Uh, but here I think it's very important um, for us to offer the view from outside. Yeah, um, definitely we don't speak the languages and the dialects like the locals do. But instead of this local um, indigenous knowledge, we have an independent view from outside. And this, uh, I think this is the reason why our um, study programs here in Germany and in the West uh, might be very um, relevant for students from the region as well. Mm -hmm. I think that area studies are um, a very promising um, approach. Of course, there is always a danger of um, self-referentiality and of essentializing the region. Um, to, to stress the specifics and the unique selling points. But I think in general, there is a good discussion and a fruitful discussion on area studies in globalized times. Um, and I think um, it's still relevant um, for us to uh, deal with regions, especially with the um, Yugoslav wars, the Ukrainian war um, going on, that we have experts who are not um, with a, a very narrow disciplinary background, but who are um, interdisciplinarily schooled and have a knowledge of history as well as language and political sciences.